everybody we're here with another video um we're in the middle of these videos but we've got card maker here we want to pick into it and look into difference on printers so we decided we're going to do this as well so i've got my good friend here who has more experience with card makers than i do believe it or not i i say that to him because he probably thinks i know more about it than i do which i don't so i'm gonna have him open up for us and point out anything that he might find interesting now, I mean, that all said, yes, I have been inside one before and whatnot, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let's see, did, we, did this one have the... Yeah, it does. So, they always they always put this art on the back here like this, so it's really cute. I just wanted to point that out before we go any farther. But, uh, yeah, why don't we just pull this off and take a look at it real quick. Ah. So, it's nothing special, but it's pretty cute. Maybe I'll put some real cards in there sometime, and, uh... I'll put some real, real SSRs in. But, uh... So yeah, here we've got Card Maker. It looks like it's got a standard um, A001, which this guy's gonna pull right off of his ring. Um, I think by the time this is up, we'll have looked over the, the printers in Concoli and Fake Grand Order pretty hard. Um, so I think at this point, it's not, not worth looking too far into it, but let's unscrew it, pull it out and kind of show you what we've got. Also would like to see if we've got any, uh, cardstock in there. It's kind of nice to get it when we do. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Um, I, I really like, by the way, these, I don't know if you can see it, these, um, oh my God, probably we can't, not with the, the light, just the, the, the neat little like cable thing. Yeah. You can, you can kind of see it there. That, that that thing rolling is just like a cable management. There you go, yeah. Those are super cool. I'm sorry, I could watch these all day long. They're really cool. So this one, we've got a CHC 3105B. Um, so inside and, well, there is some card stock. Couple cards. Good, good, good. Oops. Because sometimes they don't. Uh, my friend picked one up a couple, I don't know, like six, eight months ago and there was nothing, so. It's interesting, these are a bit um, yellowed. Oh, are they? Uh -huh, around the edges. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it. I don't know if... Must be old stock. Yeah, it might be old stock, but, like, that's fine, because, like, oh, whatever, you know? You wouldn't notice it after it's printed. Yeah, well, for maybe then I'll, I'll make sure, like, this card stock gets used as our test card stock. Yeah. But, um... Oh, you can well, you even see, like, the whole plastic is yellowed. Yeah. It's definitely like the whole thing. noticeably yeah. older. <laughs> but it's... I'm curious, then, because, like, there, this isn't going to get sunlight. No. And and usually that's what it would wouldn't that be what it is? So, the sunlight that usually causes that? Cuz look at yellow. come here, look at the Smoke look at the Okay, maybe yeah, cuz like the inside of this is yellow and the cardstock is a little bit. So that's interesting. But uh let's open this up and I mean this looks about the same as the last couple printers that we looked at, so. Yeah. You know, we've got our our foil sheet back here, the ink and Anyway, yeah, well, that's that's kind of that's kind of interesting. That's a photo sensor. Yep. We're trying. That's to... uh, I think that's the part that that was the roller that we had to clean on Charlie. So we had a yeah, yeah. we had one of these that was a that had been in a fire, and that roller was leaving marks on the cards. So I yeah. pulled that out, cleaned it with some isopropyl alcohol, and it was good as new. Yep. But uh, fortunately, we will not have to deal with that with this one. Yeah, we're still trying to find out where the heck it does the RFID stuff on yeah. the ones. Well, because does that mean that these printers just they all have that feature and then they just don't what, use it? What's for interesting too is this is a 3105B, which is the other ones didn't have like a sub distinction, so yeah. they might have different models that. Yeah. Like, well, also the Concoli one didn't have the label here. Yeah, right. The others right. did. So. Well, it's because on this one you can't really get to the back, so I think they put on the front because they yeah. knew that. That makes sense. You can't open it from the back on this one. That does make sense. So the thing that I find sus is this little guy right here. There's a little black thing connected with wires in there. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? See anything. Well, for now, I'm going to close this back up. Um, let's. Uh, is there a, a tab that's holding that up or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got you got a hold. You oh, okay. oh, the one up here. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty long. Okay, cool. Let's put this back in. And uh, did it not have screws on the front? I uh, know it does. They're, they do. We'll but put those back in a sec. Yeah. yeah. Let's get into the bottom. Let's see what's down here. Um, and actually, I am going to pull the keys now because I want to open the coin bucket. See if we've got anything in there. I'll leave that to you. So 
So just PCB, nothing special in there. That's actually super overkill. The PCB. Oh, in there. oh, absolutely. This is super overkill, and you'll see it when we have this up and running. Like all it really does is flash some graphics and you know print cards. That's all this thing does. Um, not that I'm gonna replace it with anything like that, but like you could you could totally repurpose that for something else. Oh, they gave us some extra Hello. So I don't know if this came with it or maybe this was some of the extra oh, wow. stock that we bought from them, but there is extra stock in there. Cool. Don't show Derek. He's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> when I opened mine, there was nothing in there. Nothing? Nothing! Ah, uh, no, I... So this guy... I assume, I assume, <laughs> I assume you took he is <laughs> He is getting some cardstock to go home, so... Oh, thank you. Anyway, um, we're gonna get this whole thing set up and... Uh, you know, kind of give a little overview of the of card maker um and we'll be right back hey everybody we're back and um we're all really tired it's after a con and uh just thought we'd get this uh video finished up and i have asked uh, the people here for some for some suggestions on what to, to comment on for card maker and they're they're very tired and all they said was it print card so um <laughs> Yes, card maker make card. I'm sorry, my, my card is in my phone, so let me get that out and I'm gonna touch the come on. Okay. Just have to touch the touch my phone to the thing. We'll uh, go in here. I'm gonna do a couple gotcha rolls and I think that's about it, just to kind of show um, what Card Maker is. A lot of people ask, and I don't think there's exactly videos of this online. Like, who, who documents this stuff? You know, really. So, here I'm just gonna go do an 11 roll. Uh, you pay for 10, you get an extra free one, um, and it's 100 yen per roll. And it looks like here we've got two. Um, SSRs, which is good. I've been rolling a little bit today and um, haven't gotten any yet. So you can either let it go through this and um, do like one at a time. There's our SSR. That's cute. Maybe I'll print that one. But uh, I'll just kind of do a one by one roll through all of these for the first set. So everything starts at rare, so I don't know what the point of calling it rare is, you know. Because there is no, oh no, there is normal cards. They're just not on Card Maker, right? Yeah, that's right, okay. So just tap the screen to go. So you can see as I'm rolling these, um, there's some stars that go with it. Um, let's see if it comes up with the... Oh, it's a little bright there. See, so yeah, I see this one I have rolled. That's the first time I've rolled that one. So I have one star. And um, each of these that I roll, I get a, um, a break of the level cap. See, each time you see it goes up a little bit. Our second SSR. I don't remember if I've rolled this one before. God, the screen's super bright. See, so yeah, that's the first time I've rolled that one. So you see, like, you start at a max level of 10. And you definitely... Oh, well, oh yeah, it increases to 50 or whatever. Anyway, yeah. Rolled on Card Maker, you said it had a maximum level of 10. And Card Maker rolling or printing raises that to 50. And yeah. Beyond from there, it goes like five times each time? Yeah, I think it's, it's something like that. But uh, so here we've got the cards that we rolled, um, and we can choose whether to print them or not. So usually I hit none, and then come up here and I might go through these and pick out which ones I want to print. So, like you were saying, yeah, happened? this one's pretty cute. Awesome. Um, that's the second time. I might roll. I'm gonna let it roll again. Um, I, I might go for five star before I print it. But are you um, print that one or no, I'll um, 
I actually kind of want to, I want to get one that I have, I have a five star on and um, kind of show some of the print options. So, and I'm just going to roll again. So hopefully we'll come up with something and I'll just print whatever, whatever's convenient. So let's go do one more. Let's see what we get. And I'm just going to hit skip. And there we got a bunch of cards. So I'll just pick one of these that I've got um, a couple stars on and I'll show you some of the options that you get for uh, printing. So there's a three star. Um, do we need five for all options, right? No. It's just a second. Yeah, because it's the first time it will make you, the first time you print it, you it will make it will forcibly make you print with everything on the card. Yeah. So anyway, I guess we'll print this one because I've got a four star on it. It's kind of cute. Turn her on. Let's go. Oops, nope. nope. Print. All right. So a regular print, um, the gotcha roll that you made will um, already will pay for the card. Um, and then you can come down here and you can add one more credit to uh, hollow print it. Um, I think just for the just for the sake of it, let's let's hollow print it just so you can see. Um, yeah, you've got your options over here, and you can um, you know turn them. All on or off, Oop. Um, or you can come here and individually turn certain elements on or off. So for this one, I'm I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna like let's turn off everything, and we'll just uh, we'll print it like that. So hollow print, and it's gonna ask me to put an extra credit in here. So I've got my handy token. Oh. I am apparently also very tired and cannot even drop a coin in the... There we go. And hit print. Okay, and it says it'll be about 60 seconds to print. You've got your icon up here that shows the card progress. And that will fill up as we go. So let's exit out. And it'll take you back here. So. Um, one thing, and I'm not going to put in, you know what, no, let's just do another gotcha roll so I can show it. We've got this thing printing down here. Um, some other things, like a lot of Sega games will only allow you to use the service button to put in nine credits before you have to put in another coin. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a third gotcha roll here just to show you guys something while this is printing. You see there, it's done. And the card's just going to spit out of there. Normally it would go into this, this little tray here. Bam! Card. Um, so, let's skip that. We've got some stuff here. Uh, so there is a cap on the number of cards that you're allowed to print in one session. And the number of gotcha rolls that you're allowed to do in one session as well. Um, and it's, I think it's 34? Is that right? Yeah, so 34. So if I go here and I try to roll again, um, now it'll say there it says, you know, one play, you can only do 34. Uh, I just wanted to point that out. So anyway, here we've got our card we just printed and let's take a quick look at it. And uh, I think we'll wrap up with that. Yeah. Yeah, if I can get it up, I shouldn't be putting it on the tray there. So this is, this is our gamer girl. Um, and there's the card. So in the data, there's a um, there's a mask for the foil, which determines for each card um, where the foil prints. I can't get it to focus. Just tap on the pick, tap on it. Oh yeah. There we go. Um, I think it was it was wonky because the the light was weird on. So you can see like the foil is only on the. Actually, it is a little bit kind of on our pants too. But like the main part of the foil is in you know very specific spots. And this one I've had it printed, um, you know, without all the extra stuff as well. So I think that makes a difference. And then you've got the regular back. So um, I think I pointed it out earlier in the video, but these cards come with this uh, card maker back. A lot of, I think these printers are capable of printing double-sided, but this one doesn't. Someday, you know, maybe we'll figure something out with it. But I, I just want to show this because these are like really good quality, like trading card quality prints. Um, it's just really cool that the the printer can can do stuff like that. So anyway, 
I think that's it for Card Maker, unless you had anything else to comment on other than it, it make card. Um, it also takes your money by, like, Yeah, it takes, it takes your money by, by, by various methods. But, um... Either by actual credits or by virtual money. Yep. Things. But, um... Yeah, that's it for Card Maker. There's just this is something that I don't think there's really a lot of videos out there talking about some of the you know, terminal things like this. Like, what's the point? Um, I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of show it off. Especially, a lot of people ask like, what's Card Maker, and um, you know, this this kind of answers that question. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll be back with more later. Uh, stay safe as always, and we'll see you in the next video.